Hiya guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, welcome. So, I am bare faced, I've just got brow gel through my brows, I did a little bit of like filling in in the front. Um, today's video, as you can see from the title, is all about e.l.f. cosmetics. I went into, well I didn't go into Superdrug, I went online on Superdrug and I picked up the new, not the new, but I was like, I am probably the last human being to try this product, but you know what? so what and <laughs> um, so i did go ahead and pick up the poreless Prati primer from elf i know this is like a huge thing right now everyone's loving it i picked this up i know they have the new luminous one and the new matte one but this one's just gonna be fine for me and um, i also picked up the new um hydrating camo concealer you guys know i'm not exactly a fan of the matte one so i'm hoping this is going to be it and also i picked up their new halo glow setting powder so if you want to see what my thoughts are on the new like elf base type range then please keep on watching so i am still ill don't worry it's not the coronavirus thank god for that um i i've had a cold since january like it's just not budging it went for like two weeks and then decided like a few weeks ago to say hi again so I'm not going to be using the e.l.f. foundation just because I'm not a fan of it. Like, I think you guys can tell I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't work well on my skin. My skin is very normal to combination, um, but it's just not my jam. Um, also with the matte concealer, the 16 hour matte con camera concealer, I'm not a fan of that concealer as well. So here we have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer as so. Um, this retails for £8 in the UK. I did purchase this from Superdrug, but you can get it from e.l.f.com. So this is what this bad boy looks like in the packaging. Obviously, it's just a clear little thing like that. Like, that's just what it looks like. It says this, the Skin Perfecting Poreless Putty Primer is infused with squalene to help grip makeup all day wear and help protect the skin from moisture loss. The velvet texture glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for the poreless effect. I'm going to go in with my fingers. I don't know how much to apply. Okay, so it's definitely got like a cream type texture to it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like silicone jelly, which I'm happy it's not because I don't like silicone. So what I'm going to do now is just buff it into the skin and let's see how it goes. I like how it's like sometimes with poreless primers, they tend to either clog or they just sit on the skin. This is really like pressed into the skin and it feels really, really smooth on my skin. Um, so now we're going to move on to the concealer. I have here the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, as you guys can see. Um, I was a bit unsure what shade to pick up, so I did just go in with light beige. I probably should have gone in with medium beige. However, it's not a problem. e.l.f. tend to have quite an extensive range, which is lovely. Um, this was £6.00. Which I think is a little bit more expensive than the matte one, is it? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but here we have the e.l.f. concealer right here, as you guys can see now. I hate the whole focusing thing on a camera, like my iPhone just used to do it. Our camo concealer just got better. Our new lightweight full coverage formula doesn't flake and gives your skin a boost of hydration for a satin finish. Perfect. I love a satin finish. Satin gives me that more like natural vibes. I don't like a matte under eye just because my eyes crease really, really easily. Um, camouflage the those pesky spots and under eye circles with this higher coverage hydrating and long wear concealer. Love it. And I'm going to take it... This is very yellow. I'm not a fan of e.l.f. doe foots, but it's just a doe foot at the end of the day. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to start blending out my chin first, just because I like my under eyes to sit a little bit, um, and I'm hoping this is like... Ooh! Okay. Sorry, I've literally just picked up my mirror and gone... That doesn't look too bad. The sponge I've been using lately is the Moolak sponge. This is so good. Like, honestly, I've been using my EX1 sponge, which is my favourite sponge ever. Um, I prefer it over the Beauty Blender, and it's only, like, £12. But this is next level. Like, this is next level. That is some nice coverage. That is some nice coverage. My lighting's got a bit weird right now, just because I am pale as f So... Yeah, so what I now I'm going to do is I'm going to blend out my under eyes. I'm hoping this is going to be beautiful because if you can get a drugstore concealer that's that good, I'm going to love it. So I'm just going to now go in and start to blend my under eyes out. I think I like this one. I think I'm going to like this one. Oh my... Wait hold on a minute 
hold on a minute please coverage there the coverage is there no really is elf really doing this why did this not do it for me in the matte one like it's just oh this is i love it i'm really hoping that it's going to wear well like so far i am going mad i'm going mad over this no right just let me say this before i change my mind this is probably the most full coverage concealer i have ever used no word of a lie where's my vein where are my under eye bags where are all my issues problems it's all gone no what no just, right <laughs> You're probably thinking, why is she going mad with concealer? Right, I struggle with concealers a lot. Now, I've always wanted to get that really, like, snatched, concealed, go away, snatched, concealed, under eye feel. This is it. No, this is, I'm going to have to do an Instagram story because this is, no. I really hope this is going to hold well because it blends beautifully. Like, it blends beautifully. It applies really, really nicely. Again, I'm obviously, I'm not a fan of the doe fit, but I'm not a problem. I have used a damp sponge. I, this is going to be insane with a brush. I used a pretty decent amount. I didn't use too much concealer. Oh, my Lord. Let me just show you my under eyes. Obviously, it's not set yet, so it's going to crease. But this is full AF coverage and i'm loving it okay i'm loving it loving it loving it loving it loving it onto powder now onto the halo glow setting powder now i really hope this is bomb this retails for eight pounds or so it's up in the shade light you get 6.8 grams of product which is great so it comes in light medium and deep this is the shade right here this is the shade light i might go for medium for like to do the rest of my face but i literally just use powder for my under eyes there's this silky weightless texture of this setting powder drapes the skin for a dreamy blurring soft focus finish i'm guessing this whole line of elf is like the new blurring feel to it i'm sorry i just can't get over this concealer i'm in love finely milled synthetic sapphire particles oh wow to give your skin a soft glow it helps smooth the appearance of fine lines and blur imperfections excited i'm gonna go in on my under eyes and set going in on my forehead as well just those immediate areas before i go in and contour um however this powder some powder i don't bake but i just feel like because this is quite heavy con coverage concealer i just want to make sure it's all locked in i do find sometimes with setting powders that as soon as i put them on immediately they are very drying and they tighten the under eye but this one so far is not giving me that i am so far very 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 impressed looking at myself now the coverage is still there like the coverage i prefer how concealer looks before setting but i know i need to set this is juicy no i like this i'm hoping this is going to hold perfectly and the color was pretty nice as well the color was really really nice i think i was spot on i did think it was a little bit too yellow but again once it blended in it was lovely so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do the rest of my face chill out for a bit and then come back to you guys with my final thoughts okay guys so um this is the final look that we have going on right here let me go and close my curtain so yeah um i am heavily 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 impressed um with my makeup right now i don't want to take it off i do because i have to do more work for you um but however pores are non-existent like literally my pores are non-existent wow wow girl is impressed like i am impressed this is mad like putty primer love it like i know people are going to be like duh like literally duh like i love it um the concealer to die for honestly probably the best drugstore probably the best drugstore concealer out there better than revolution ones and it's even better than my barry m1 my barry m1 is one of my favorite concealers ever in superdrug but 
this guy right here this one right here tops it love it full coverage I just now the setting powder is not bad. Let me have a look at my under eyes. It has actually held up the concealer pretty, pretty nicely. I do feel like I'd have to go in with a little bit more of an expensive powder. For example, like the Huda Beauty one or the Fenty one or the Milk one or the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Just because I feel as if it for, for hours this might not hold the best. But I feel cute. Like my under eyes have never looked better. Like they have never looked, my under eyes have never looked this good. Like they have literally never looked this good. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Let me know if you're going to grab the concealer. Let me know if you're going to have the powder. The, have you tried it? What are your thoughts? Do you like it? You might not. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye.